today. Yung lesson natin ngayon ay mag-sketch tayo ng graphs ng polynomial functions manually. Kaya natin siya gagawin manually at hindi lang over some graphing software ay dahil by doing so, matatap natin yung alam natin about yung end behavior ng graphs, yung zeros ng isang function, yung paggamit ng remainder theorem, rational roots theorem. So lahat yun, mag add up sa understanding natin kung paano nagbe-behave ang graph ng isang polynomial function. So, yung objectives natin yun ay maka-outline lang ng process for manually sketching the graph of a polynomial function. Take note, hindi natin ito kayang gawin sa lahat ng klase ng polynomial functions. So, let's have some assumptions and conditions bago natin i-proceed yung lesson. So, unang-una, yung polynomial na i-graph natin, by the time i-graph na natin siya, dapat na-factor na siya. Dapat nagamit na natin yung remainder theorem, yung rational roots theorem na ilista na natin kapag trial and error na tayo at nahanap na natin yung zeros niya. Tapos hindi tayo mag-graph muna ng polynomials na may non-real zeros. So naka-restrict tayo sa polynomials na may real zeros. So this would include yung rational zeros na nakuha natin sa rational roots theorem. Possible din na meron tayo mga radical zeros yung lumabas from applying the quadratic equation sa isang quadratic factor. Tapos, meron tayong presumption na marunong na tayo mag-construct ng isang table of signs. I hope that you were able to do this kung nag-discuss kayo before ng inequalities ng polynomials. Okay, so here's our first example. We want to manually sketch the graph of f sub 1 of x equals 2x to the 4th plus 15x cubed minus 20 9x squared minus 207x plus 315. So sabi natin, Gusto natin factored na. So, we'll skip that long process of factoring this using the rational roots theorem. So, ito na yung factored form. And from the factors, dapat makita natin na ang zeros natin ay yung magpapazero sa factors. So, that would be negative 7, negative 5, positive 3 halves, tsaka positive 3. Idamay na rin natin yung y-intercept. It's just the constant term. It's 315. Now, we're ready to construct our table of signs. So first, we construct a table like this. Ang tatandaan natin dito ay, from left to right, this is a number line. So gusto natin malaman if the function is positive or negative past certain numbers. So paano nga ulit gumawa ng isang table of signs? First, we list down all the factors of our polynomial. Tapos gagawa tayo ng columns for each of the critical numbers. Ano ulit yung critical numbers ng isang polynomial function? Ito yung mga values na magpapazero sa kanya. So, yung zeros niya. So, we have negative 7, negative 5, positive 3 halves, and 3. Ito yung factors. Ito yung polynomial function. Then, si x plus 7, syempre magzi-zero siya sa negative 7. So, ilalagay na natin dito 0. Si x plus 5 mag-0 sa negative 5. Si 2x minus 3 mag-0 sa 3 halves. Si x minus 3 mag-0 sa 3. So, nilalagyan na natin ng zeros dito sa lines. Again, from left to right, it's representing a number line. Now, this factor, for all values of x that are less than negative 7, negative siya. Si x plus 5, for all values of x that, le that are less than negative 5, negative siya. Kaya natin nilalagay itong mga negative signs dito. So, si 2x minus 3, lahat ng x na less than 3 halves, magiging negative itong factor na to. Si x minus 3, all x values less than 3, negative yung factor na yun. So, syempre, pag nahit na yung critical values, magsizero yung bawat factor. Pag nakalampas sila dun, naging positive na yung values ng factor na yun. Yung factor lang na yun, hindi pa yung function. Ang goal natin ay makuha yung behavior ng function, no? around its critical values. Here, for values of x that are less than negative 7, kukunin lang natin yung product ng signs, ng factors, when x is less than negative 7. So, negative times negative times negative times negative, we expect our function to be positive at x values that are less than negative 7. And we do that for each interval na define ng table of signs natin. So, we'll end up with this. So, check natin ah. Apat na negative, positive yun. Positive times negative times negative times negative, that's negative. Positive, positive, negative, negative is positive. And kaya nyo na itong matitira. It should be noted no, that the function itself is zero dun sa critical values. So ito lang yung gusto natin. 
yung summary ng table of signs. At gagamitin natin yung information ng zeros at ng table of signs sa pag-manually sketch ng graph ng polynomial function natin. So, gawa tayo ng Cartesian plane. Our first step is to plot the zeros. So, ang zeros natin, negative 7, negative 5, positive 3 halves, and positive 3. Next, gagamitin natin yung information from the table of signs. At mag-sketch tayo ng marks na to in green. Uh, baka medyo maliit, paki full screen na lang yung video natin. Ngayon, ano itong marks in green? Ano na represent nila? Yan yung parang sections no actual graph ng function natin with a behavior that is given to us by the table of signs. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung function natin, as it goes from less than negative 7 to negative 7 to more than negative 7, mag-change siya ng sign from positive to zero to negative. So, graphically, ang ibig sabihin nun, yung portion ng graph na malapit dun sa negative 7, sa so start siya sa positive side, magzi-zero siya sa negative 7, tapos magne-negative siya paglagpas ng negative 7. Kaya ganito yung direction natin sa negative 7. Next, critical number, negative 5. So, zero tayo sa negative 5, negative just before negative 5, at positive paglagpas ng negative 5. So, ganito yung direction ng graph natin. Kaya ganyan din yung dinrowing natin in green, yung section ng graph na dinrowing natin in green. Okay, proceed tayo. The next critical number is 3 halves. So, na may positive sign dyan, ibig sabihin, yung function natin from negative 5 hanggang positive 3 halves, positive yung values niya. Before 3 halves, positive. Paglagpas ng 3 halves, negative. 0 sa 3 halves, ganito yung behavior ng function natin as it crosses 3 halves. Next, dito tayo kay 3. Negative sa left, positive sa right. So, we cross the x-axis at 3 from negative going to positive. Now, we know that our function is a quartic. It has an even degree, degree 4. Na positive, yung leading coefficient. So, we also know that it opens up. So, pag sketch natin yung graph, no, dapat consistent tayo na go-open up yung graph natin. Ang natitira na lang na gagawin natin ay parang connect the dots, connect the zeros sa x-axis following yung direction na binigay nitong portions ng graph na yan. And here is my sketch. So, from positive to negative, pero kailangan kong dumaan sa next zero. So, akit ako. So, kailangan kong from positive to negative sa 3 halves, so negative na ulit. Then, sa 3, negative papuntang positive knowing na it should open up consistent yung graph natin, yung sa ina-expect natin end behavior ng function natin. So, let's make a comparison ng sketch natin versus yung ibibigay sa atin ng GeoGebra. And this is the GeoGebra graph. This is our graph. Medyo malapit naman. Siguro ang kulang lang, no, is tinry kong medyo mas malapit sa maxima yung y-intercept dito, dun pa pala sa bababa. Isama na rin natin pala yung y-intercept na 315. So, labelin lang natin yung kung saan siya tatama sa y-axis. So, that's our first example. Second example, we want to manually sketch the graph of f2 of x. Siya naman negative yung leading coefficient. Negative x to the 5th minus 5x to the 4th plus 6x cubed plus 46x squared plus 32x minus 24. Again, kailangan factored na siya. And this is the factored form. Let's make some observations in this factored form. Meron siyang quadratic na factor. Sabihin, hindi na ito mapafactor further. So, at some point, gagamit tayo ng quadratic formula. So, ano yung zeros natin? Zeros natin ay 3. Ang ibigay sa ating zero nito ay negative 2. Pero, may square dun, kaya siya multiplicity 2. At ginamita na lang natin to ng quadratic formula. Hindi ko na pinakita yung solution. Ang roots or zeros nitong factor nito ay negative 2 plus or minus square root of 6. Since we're graphing it, i-approximate na lang natin using a calculator. This 0 is approximately negative 4.45. This 0 is approximately 0.45. The y-intercept is negative 24. Dito ko na nilagay para may konti tayong space. Quintic siya na function, odd in degree. 
Alam natin, pag odd yung degree at negative yung leading coefficient, ganito yung parang sketch natin ng behavior. So, galing siya sa taas, from the left, then mag end up siya pababa on the right. So, we construct our table of signs. This is our table. Our critical values are arranged in ascending order from left to right. So, this is negative 4.45 approximately, negative 2, approximately 0.45 and 3. These are our factors. This is our function. So, first, let's plot the zeros. This factor mag-0 sa 3. Si x plus 2 mag-0 sa negative 2. Si x squared plus 4x minus 2, yung quadratic factor, dalawa yung zeros niya. 0 siya sa negative 2 minus square root of 6. 0 siya sa negative 2 plus square root of 6. Now, since negative yung leading coefficient, so may naka-factor out tayo ditong negative para hindi natin yan makalimutan, maglalagay na rin ako sa table of signs. Uh, Sibihin na lang natin negative 1 or a negative na marker. So, when we write our signs, dito muna tayo, yung parang dun sa first example, lahat ng values na less than 3, pag sinubstitute natin sa x minus 3, magiging negative siya. So, negative everything to the left of this 0. Tapos, yung negative natin na factor, negative siya sa kahit anong value ng x. So, dyan lang yan. Negative all throughout. Wala siyang 0. How do we treat itong my square. Kung may square siya, pwede ba siya maging negative? Hindi, di ba? Pwede siya maging zero when x equals negative 2. It can't be negative. So this factor, x plus 2 quantity squared, positive na siya all throughout. Idamay na rin natin yung positive ng x minus 3 dito. So hindi siya magiging negative. Ito yung signs niya for all intervals ng ating table of signs. Now yung quadratic. Yes, yung quadratic, Ano ba yung graph ng quadratic? Diba? It's a parabola. Tapos, meron siyang real zeros. Hindi imaginary yung zeros niya. It means it crosses the x-axis. And since positive yung leading coefficient niya, then it, it opens up. So, yung curve niya parang pa ganito. A parabola that opens up, tapos ito yung zeros niya. So, that means, before the first zero, it must be positive. Then, magdi-dip siya to negative, neg negative. Then, sa second zero, babalik na siyang positive. Kaya ito yung signs natin for this factor. And from these signs, makuha natin yung result ng table of signs natin, yung summary. So, from at the interval negative infinity to the first zero, our function is positive. Then, mag-zero siya. Paglagpas nun, the second interval from negative 2 minus square root of 6 upon so negative 2, negative yung function natin. Kasi yung product ng ating mga factors dun sa interval na yun ay negative. Third interval, negative pa rin siya. So for negative, nag-zero, nag-negative ulit. And that should make sense, no? Kasi this is sa multiplicity 2. Alam natin, nagkakaroon ng bounds. Third zero, so negative, mag-zero, magpa-positive. And then the final interval, plus, plus, minus, negative yung zero niya. So with the, uh, negative yung value ng function. So we take the summary, nagay natin dito, and let's use this information, no, nung alam natin sa behavior niya at dun sa table of signs para i-plot yung graph natin. First, we start with the zeros. So negative 2 minus square root of 6, approximately negative 4.45. Negative 2, negative 2 plus square root of 6, approximately 0.45 and positive 3. Next, we use the information from the table of signs. Yung first zero, positive sa kaliwa, negative sa kanan. So parang tumatawid siya ng x-axis from positive to zero to negative. Okay, this is our sketch. Second zero, negative two. Negative, zero, negative pa rin. So galing sa negative, tatama siya ng zero, then babalik siya ng negative. And remember, this is the zero with multiplicity two. So magbabound siya of the x-axis. Ito yung representation ng bounds, table of signs. At ito yung manifestation niya sa graph natin. Next. Sa so negative 2 plus square root of 6, yung approximately 0.45, negative sa kaliwa, positive sa kanan, so it crosses the x-axis papataas. And finally, yung, yung huli nating 0, so positive 3, positive sa left, negative sa right, 
positive sa left, negative sa right. Ganito yung direction ng graph ng function natin as it crosses the x-axis at x equals 3. So, we connect all those little sketches para tayo nagko-connect the dots pero meron na tayong guide given by the table of signs and yung pagkakaalam natin sa kanyang behavior. So, dapat manggaling siya sa positive tas mag -e end sa negative magko-cross nung first zero magba-bounce dun sa second zero na may multiplicity 2 tatagos siya nung third zero tatagos siya nung fourth zero yung three. And this is a sketch of our graph. Since alam natin that the y-intercept is negative 24, labelan na lang natin siya dito, negative 24. Notice, hindi na ako naglagay ng numbers sa y-axis so that pwede siyang not to scale kasi mahirap siya medyo scale. Let's compare our graph with a graph ng graphing software. Ayun. So, it's not so bad. It's not so far off. Although, Binago ko din yung scaling ng x and y axis dito. So, I hope that made sense. Feel free na balik-balikan siya pag kayo na yung mag-graph manually ng sarili ng polynomial function. And I'll see you sa next lesson. Thank you.